good day everyone. So we are now in our week 5 with the module entitled The Effects of Electromagnetic Radiations on Living Things and Environment. So as a review, we have here the electromagnetic spectrum, which is a band of colors as seen in a rainbow produced by separation of the components of light by their different degrees of refraction according to wavelength. So we have here the longer wavelengths, which consists of the radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, and the visible light. While in the shorter wavelengths, we have the ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. For now, we have the learning objectives. Explain the effects of electromagnetic radiation on living things and the environment. After going through this module, you are expected to first identify the non-ionizing radiations and its effects to living things and environment. Second, identify the ionizing radiations and its effect to living things and environment. And the third one is to find out solutions on how to reduce electromagnetic radiation hazards. So this module is divided into the three parts. So we have lesson one, two, and three. So we have here an image showing the types of electromagnetic waves along with its organization from non-ionizing to ionizing radiation so we can also see here the frequency and their wavelength so we have extremely low frequencies very low frequencies low frequencies radio frequencies microwaves infrared visible light ultraviolet x-ray and gamma rays so we're going to discuss it one by one as we go through this video so let's proceed now to the lesson one the risk of non-ionizing radiation Non-ionizing radiations and its risk. Radiation exists all around us from both natural and man-made sources and is in two forms, ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation is a form of energy that acts by removing electrons from atoms and molecules of materials that include air, water, and living tissue. Ionizing radiation can travel unseen and pass through these materials. Non-ionizing radiation is a type of low-energy radiation that does not have enough energy to remove an electron from one atom or molecule. Most types of non-ionizing radiation have not been found to cause cancer. This radiation exists all around us from many sources. It is to the left of ionizing radiation on the electromagnetic spectrum in the figure below. So we can see here in the figure the electromagnetic spectrum, the lower energy, the higher energy, non-ionizing radiation, and ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation includes visible light, infrared radiation, and ultraviolet light, microwaves, radio waves, and radio frequency energy from cell phones. The dividing line between non-ionizing and ionizing radiation occurs in the ultraviolet part of the electromagnetic spectrum, as you can see it in the illustration above. Radiation in the ultraviolet band at and at lower energies is called non-ionizing radiation, while at the higher energies to the right of the ultraviolet band is called ionizing radiation. So for lesson 1, we're going to focus more on the non-ionizing radiation. So we have here the examples for the ultraviolet. Ultraviolet radiation comes from the sun, welding, black lights, and UV lasers. The sun emits UVA, UVB, and UVC rays. UVC rays are absorbed by the ozone layer and never actually reach the earth. Both UVA and UVB light are important for humans in the production of vitamin D. However, the effects of overexposure to ultraviolet rays can be negative and can be immediate or delayed. Sunburn, skin cancer, and cataracts develop over time with excessive exposure. Next is the visible light. The visible light portion of the electromagnetic spectrum can be seen by humans, animals, and other organisms. This type of light consists of seven colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. When all the colors are present at one time, the light is white. Rainbows are created when visible light passes through raindrops. The raindrops act like a prism and break the light down into its individual colors. Overexposure to visible light can damage both the eyes and skin. Infrared 
Infrared radiation from the sun is normally absorbed by the Earth's surface and the clouds, then released as heat into the atmosphere. When the atmosphere has a lot of water vapor along with nitrogen, sulfur, and fluorocarbons, the infrared radiation gets trapped and causes the atmospheric temperature to rise. This is called the greenhouse effect. Temperature increases like this cause changes in the weather patterns on Earth and lead to climate change. Microwaves Microwave radiation comes from microwave ovens, radar, transmission towers, satellite transmissions, the sun, and cosmic microwave background radiation. CMB is radiation left over from the Big Bang when the universe began. A microwave oven works because microwaves excite the water molecules in food and cause them to vibrate, generating heat and cooking the food. Atoms and molecules can also emit and absorb microwave radiation. Then overexposure to microwave radiation can cause cataracts and skin burns. Radio frequencies Amplitude modulation and frequency modulation radio broadcast Wi-Fi signals, cell phones, amateur radio, television, and airport security scanners use radio frequency waves. This type of non-ionizing radiation is absorbed throughout the body. The effects of radio frequency waves on the body are like microwave radiation in terms of heat generation. Exposure to electromagnetic fields in this frequency range can warm up exposed tissues because this absorbs the radio wave and convert this into heat. The frequency level determines the depth of penetration into the body. For example, using a cell phone causes the ear and or head to get warm. Warming up by this radiation is the most dangerous for the brain, eyes, genitals, stomach, liver, and kidneys. Extreme Low Frequencies Extreme low frequency waves are on the far end of the electromagnetic spectrum and come from power lines, electric equipment and wiring, and electrical appliances such as electric blankets, refrigerators, razors, and hair dryers. Extremely low frequency waves can go through water so they are also used for detection by submarines. According to the National Cancer Institute, there is no experimental evidence showing that normal levels of extremely low frequency radiation are dangerous to humans. Lasers Lasers are in the form of non-ionizing radiation but they are made from it. Lasers can be made from visible light, ultraviolet, and infrared waves. Store checkout counters, CD and DVD players, remote controls, dental drills, laser pointers, and laser printers all use lasers. They have many industrial and medical applications as well. Lasers are also made from the elements argon, helium, and neon ruby crystals, chemicals, and liquid dyes. When not used properly, lasers burn and cause severe damage to tissues, especially in the eye. The narrow beam of light concentrates the effect of the retina, causing blind spots. So that would be all for today's lesson. Hopefully you have learned a lot. Thank you. Keep safe always and God bless